Wow, what a great game. Crash 2 is the best Crash game of all Get time. Get oh, geez. No, oh, geez. Uh, no, no, this, uh, it is my turn. It is my turn. Uh, this is I... my commentary time, bitches. Look at what I we caused. Donuts. <laughs> Look, it's what I did in Crash 2. I did this. I'm a good guy. <laughs> Except that you released an evil demonic being of hell. Look more like it literally looks like an, a, an ethereal jellyfish. Yep. But Aku Aku knows, and it's time for him to finally get an actual like. <gasps> speaking role. Hi, Greg Eels. I met you. Those were his first guy. Those were his first words ever. Does he sound that deep in baritone when in real life, or is that a voice? He's like, Ow. Ow. Uh, he's not as baritone. He's not as baritone, but he does have a kind of deep voice. Yeah, I assume so. Uh -oh. By the way, that's John DiMaggio as Uka Uka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I will say, they either he did really good here, or they synthesized the shit out of his voice. They really synthesized the shit out of his voice, because this is a, definitely a far cry from his performance in the Titan games. And I'm still in the minority that say that I actually kind of enjoyed what he was trying to do in the Titans games. Like, it's definitely a more calmer take, but I think it kind of works for what they were trying to do. And I know they're trying to go with something a little bit closer to Clancy's voice in the original games, which, to be fair, were also pretty processed, but... Still, for what it is, I like this as well. Oh, I love this expression. Also, I like that tension yeah. detail where his lips, where, where the uh, pain, where the pain in his lips are slowly being peeled off. Yeah. You know, a thousand years of imprisonment, thousand years of imprisonment, really haven't given him the time to properly take care of himself. And oh shit! Hello, Entropy. One Hello. of my favorite Crash villains. Hello, Doctor. Wow. That, despite how good that, this game looks, that fire looks horrible. It's yeah, I was about to say that fire looks Drake pretty bad. Chart on the left. Mm -hmm. And if you look yes. up on and top, it's, it's and top. Tana above. Up there as well, yeah. Oh, oh and it's our board. And it's our, oh, it's our skateboard from Crash 2. Wait. Hold on there, Bear. You're not going anywhere. No. You're not in this game. Huh? He just ran off into the wilderness. <laughs> he comes back later with a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never forget. So, we're here in the Time Twister. I don't know how we knew to come here, or well, to be why fair, Aku Aku could do this all along. Well, to be fair, that's kind of a deal with the original game as well. Yeah, yeah. they, anyway, they just... So, doing today? If, you guys, if you guys don't know, I am playing this game, and because I am a fucking psycho... And an anti-crash an man. idiot, I'm playing the entire thing as Coco. Okay. That's well, fine. Because really... you don't. Because you don't. Oh. Fuck the male bandicoots. Because yeah. I wouldn't say that really would classify you as... Oh, the... I wouldn't say that really classify you as an idiot, okay. because I know a lot of people really like playing as Coco. It's called yeah, she... fan service. Exactly. That and just adorable. This... Off to our first stage. Which, cra so which case... Crash clearly does not have. Crash, oh. crash, crash. This Let's is probably my favorite thing about this mud. game. Oh, the look, fact that the characters every now and then will too. pop up to insult you. But yeah, so I am the one playing this game. Mm -hmm. uh, respectively, we're, each of us are doing our favorite Crash games. And yes, the third one is my favorite. And fair Mine warning, too. people, I am fucking horrible. What? I thought it was your favorite. Well, well, at the very least, Matt, you have the easiest game in the trilogy, so I think you'll do just fine. And plus, you're at least taking it in stride. It's just, you'll, you'll... Yeah. I, 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 I suck. I suck. Well, that's fair. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, look! We're in the medieval times! Yep, this game is all about time how gorgeous this game yeah. looks in the Oh, insane that's a new anyway. feature up ahead, Matt. What is it? What did you say? I was okay. saying the roulette crates are new. Yes, the roulette crates uh, give you one of three options. Either it will be a uh, question mark crate, a... a uh, Extra life? Aku It'll either be a question mark crate, a uh, Aku Aku mask, or a life. 
And the thing is, if you wait too long, the crates will get faster and faster and turn metal, making you lose your chance at actually getting uh, the crate at gem. getting that uh, Chris, that gem. Yep, no, no cheating the odds for you. Yeah, you gotta literally be on the draw when it comes to those things. So that being said, it's not it's not just the uh, it's not just the extra lives or the rate or the aqua or whatever. It honestly can it can replicate just about any sort of box type, including TNT crates. In fact, you're gonna need to yeah. manipulate Wait, really? that for for some of these bonus stages here. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I forgot about the TNT ones. So thankfully, uh, the, thankfully, the, thankfully, none of them ever turned to a nitro. That actually be rather dickish. Yeah. So other than that, uh, are we uh, we are plan on trying to complete this game 100% too? Yes! And you'll see why I fucking suck later down the line of this series. Aww. Don't worry, guys. You'll work. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about some of the stuff that this game added that uh, other se that the other two games didn't have. Like, What was one of the bigger things that this game gave us? Uh, Power-ups. That really? is the biggest thing. Every time you beat a boss, you get a power-up. Okay. And, uh, Which and uh, I don't mind my. You already know I'm... this. You're just saying that to try and make me sound interesting. Well, I'm doing that to also give the, the viewers at home something to watch. Uh, what about the what about the new challenge that this game gives you for replayability? Yes. Color gems and the relics. Fuck the relics. The relics are basically time trials. Fuck Why? the relics. Ah. Um... Yes. Relics are time trials. And, and, so, and as opposed to in the previous games, you need them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Whereas the other two games, uh, mainly, they did not have time trials. In this game, they added time trials. But for the Insane Trilogy, they decided to add... Yeah, they decided to uh, add oh, even sorry, more. Oh, sorry, Coco. <laughs> That's not quite so, right. I'll yeah. watch her adventures for you. Some levels we cannot play as Coco, and the one that disappoints me is this one. For Yay, reasons. I get time. I get time in the spotlight again. Yep. Yeah. Oh crap. Right, see, I remember. This. So at least these stages are playing a lot better in this one than they did in Wrath of Cortex for me. Yes. Ever. All the controls in this are fantastic. Like just the controls are perfectly synced. Except they fucked up the jet ski. Yeah. I mean, the jet ski is I was actually fun, about to... but they fucked it up still. I was about to say until you get to the goat. Go I was ahead. about to say until you get to the motorbikes. Oh, well, the jet bike, oh, the bike messed me up a little bit. It's like it's like muscle memory is not the best. To be fair, to be fair, guys, the motorbike was always kind of a, was kind of a train wreck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even in the original. Well, that's kind of what I meant. Well, with that said. But with that said, yes, Matt's going to be the one spearheading this whole adventure where we are going to be going through one of Crash's biggest journeys ever. Although and, I, time and, and my favorite. That's just fine. Did we ever talk about why this was your favorite again? Mainly because I played, uh, the first game I played in the series was, uh, Wrath of Cortex. Wrath of Cortex. And, uh... Wrath of Cortex was my first game in the series, and I loved the game, but I decided to go back and play one of the more classic games, and I started with three because people suggested since it's closer to, uh, since it was the closest to Wrath of Cortex, so yeah. I tried it and I fell in love with it because I realized how flawed Wrath of Cortex was due to it. And mm. I still love Wrath of Cortex. I just think it's flawed. This game, personally, to me, is perfect. Except for those time trials. Yeah. Except for the fucking time trials. <laughs> okay, the time trials aren't horrible for the most part. Then you have... Oops! Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you have that. And yeah, then you have that shit, which just, puts the th which just brings the whole thing crumbling down. Yeah. Better. Yeah. In all seriousness, no, I will admit, this is probably one... Uh, the underwater stages are really not the best stages for time trials because, well, these are ga these are levels where you're not really supposed to be speed running in the slightest. Otherwise, you get nope. chopped by a needle. Or exploded by a mine. Or bloated so, um, like a pufferfish. Though I'm, so, oh, I'm sure Logan wouldn't mind that at all. Shush. 
So, uh, Matt, in terms of that, I, I, I hope we're not like expending all of our commentary topics in the first part. I just was gonna ask, how do you think that this game? Uh, ah, I'm trying to say, do you think that this game, this remake, did the game justice? In my opinion, yes. It is. It, it is very close to the original. Personally, I say the original is all right. I say this game is slightly better than the original, not only because Coco is playable, but also because I uh, like. It, I, I'm not going to lie. I prefer the joystick. I highly prefer the joystick over the D-pad. The D-pad. That's fair. Well, Matt, yeah. Well, Matt, to be fair, you could totally play. You technically could play as Coco in the original game, just in certain stages. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the whole game, almost. Well, that's fair. <laughs> so, so, speaking of which, um, if Matt's, if Matt's going to do this in chronological order, our next stage is actually a Coco stage. Yay. Yep. Prop. I do this. I, I do the entire thing in chronological order. So. Okay. That's fair. Like, until, oh, like, except for something when, Express. unfortunately, as in the... By the way, oh, yeah. Orient Express. Wait, oh, classic. Orient Express. How people will, will think that's a racist title... Before they realize that is actually the title of a fantastic book. That's game. Oh no, movie. Matt! Matt! What have you done, man? You missed the box! You missed the box! How could Why you, man? You miss it? Restart! Restart! No, you're fine. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I will say, I was I was going to go back and record scenes where I do get the boxes. Oh. However, I I messed up. And you'll find out why later. Okay. Oh, I want to know now why you messed up. That's fine, but um, but oh yeah, so Matt, what uh, are you excited for that Orient Express movie? Oh. Oops. Ah yeah, I'm in. I'm interested in it. I I love Kenneth Branagh. I think he's a a great actor and director, and also it has a great cast, minus Josh Gad, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't like Josh Gad. Not a big fan. Although he does look he does look like he's going to be good in this film. Probably. Just but, a long, um, Hey, I mean, hey, if there's good direction, then then hey, even the shittiest of act actors could probably pull it off. Yeah, that's true. But here here's also the uh, good thing. It, it, probably my favorite thing, my absolute favorite thing about the entire movie. Mm -hmm. Kath Brothers fucking. Bitchin' ass mustache. Indeed. Uh, is that long. is. Yeah. That is the most epic mustache I have ever seen. On cinema Is it a stash that. Screens. Any hooser. Yes, hi. Was, is it a stash that. I was, about, I was about to say, is it a stash that puts Solic to shame? Oh yes. Boy. It is a. It is a stash to put all stashes to shame. Oh, I don't Mr. know. Wait, uh, were... Well, I don't know. Wait till it. Wait. Well, wait, hold on. Let's. Uh, you say that. Wait till Legman goes into the movie career. That would uh, be an interesting mustache. I'm not, I, I, I will I, not deny. Yeah, yeah, but isn't it revealed that's nose hair? Is it? Is it? No. I'm being a dick. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh hang on. All right. All right. Bald wait. nose hair. By the way, this is John DiMaggio too. Hey, mm -hmm. Tiny. This sounds yeah, relatively this... close to how he sounded in um, CTR, so it's good to see he hasn't he hasn't skipped a beat. Or Snatcher Cop, my bad. And he also really likes to. Whoa. They're both essentially the same game, though. I guess. And also, um, just to reiterate on this and the other cutscene with him coming up, Tiny really likes to show off how well his dental plan is because he flashes those pearly whites a lot to these cutscenes. Yeah. Ooh, by the way, not going to lie, I fucking hate these levels. You do? Why? I I don't like the whole moving forward to backtrack, oh. especially with the lava. That can kill that... him. I'll agree. Yeah. With, I'll agree with him that like in general, any stage where I have to like move towards the camera rather than away from it, where you know the, the action's supposed to be pointing. Oh, it's always also, a uh, I just want to say, actually, backtracking crash. Real quick, you notice that that um, Triceratops missed a box, just like with the boulders. You don't have to worry too much about mixing boxes because ones that are hit by the obstacle still count to your box tally. Nice. Yep. Yep. So if you don't see me hitting certain boxes, that's because uh, it does because the Triceratops will hit it, 
and it will count towards the box. Now time for one of the uh, now for one of the most unintentionally. Oh yeah, nice uh, sci-fi theme as well. Yeah. I I had yeah, I uh, really quick I had to check on something. I forgot to edit that out. I now time for one of the most unintentionally creepy things in this game, the mudman. Doop. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be rather By the way, that's a gem part. path. Yep, there is backtracking in this game too. Oh, and nitro crates. Ah, that's what that's the good old Crash Bandicoot spirit. <laughs> can't but, be um, you can't have you can't have Crash Bandicoot without without nitro boxes. What about the first game? Actually, I'm trying to remember. Um <laughs> I know we have gem paths, but did 3 also have death rocks as well? Yes. The, they're yes. actually there actually aren't there aren't there aren't as many of them uh, in three as there are in two. Yeah. Yes, but they are fucking difficult at times. That being said, I think I think the only I think the skull I like the death sprouts are only in the Arabian levels. Uh, no, there are there are some in the desert levels. I feel like oh right 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 there there are my bad so yeah Arabian they're only in the desert S stages isn't that? I, say, I, I, say, I also remember. Oops. Oh, I meant to do that! I also remember one being one of the future stages, I think. Uh, no, there's no... I none of the future stages. So? No, there aren't. No, I, I, okay. I, as, a, after having played through Crash 3 myself, uh, no, That's there fair. aren't any there. So, um, that is, um, two things to note. One is that some of this footage will be from James, who was helping out with the recording. Number two is that there's kind of a, um... You'll see why, yeah. by the way. No, let's just say... Uh, 80% of this stuff is mock. Okay. Yeah, but then, but the, the other the other 20% that he did have uh, got lost to the sands of time, and uh, he, I was personally requested to uh, fill in for him, so, yeah. yeah. Kind of something, yeah I was so, thinking we'd probably yeah, save my, that till later, well, but anyway. Yeah, might as well keep it as uh, suspense. Well, while transferring my, uh, while transferring my, uh, save data to, or, like, while transferring my recording, it got corrupted, Ouch. and I deleted it mm. without checking if it got corrupted. So, everything. By the way, you're going to get ready for me being incredibly pissed off. Ready? Oh no! Oh. And then the I was so angry. And then the triceratops. And then the uh, triceratops uh, is like, this gem is mine. Sorry. It will make an excellent wedding gift for my wife. The I I was fucking pissed. Oh the way, yeah, it's so beautiful, but it tastes like tastes like glass. Anyway, here to jet skis level. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, they did not do the rem the remaster did not do these stages any justice. I mean, granted, they look beautiful, but the controls see a little slipperier than they do that in the be, original. I kind of it's fun at first. It is fun to get that sense of speed, but then when you have to fucking turn around if you miss that it. being said, yeah, you, the, like the thing does not actually turn very well. It's like really an acceleration. Also, those those ramps don't actually like they used to be like a magnet. Like they would, you up. they would harshly like point you in the direction so you can get. So you can get all the boxes. But, now by they're the way, very much in, at very pinpoint. By the way, in case you're wondering... Oh, by the way, I love Ooh. this. Ow. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yep. You can, not many people know that. If you land on top of a boat guy, it actually gives you a life. Anyway, and, knocks them out on the, and knocks them out on the spot. Oh, nice. Yep. But in case you guys... Oops. Oh, yep. That yeah, to, to, be, really? to, be fair, to, to be fair, Matt, you literally ran into that one. Shut up. Okay, back here. Hey, wait. In case you're wondering why I'm not getting all the boxes and all that, I was going to have recordings of me getting all the gems. But again, fucking yep. corrupted. So Aww. most, of, so some of these levels, not Aww. all of them, only some of them, yeah, only some of these levels will actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> running yeah, around yeah. at the speed of sound. So yeah. Some of these levels will not uh, have the uh, box gem. Like the gem. I will. Like yeah, I do 100% this game, or 105% technically. So that being said, uh, you won't be seeing seeing some of it because, well, when I had to record the game, I honestly skipped out on a few things, like some box gems and all that, because honestly, yeah, it's kind of redundant to show them off when you already know exactly how it works. Right. The only gems that really matter are like the. All right, the whole thing is that he's recording the la the bonus levels. 
He's recording the last few bonus levels of the game. And a few other and, and a few other things that he missed along the way. Yeah. Well, not missed, but lost. Lost. Pretty much. By the way, I love this. Whenever you finish a area, all the buttons disappear. Except for the boss. Yeah. Boss time. Instead, right. of, instead of having that... <laughs> like, My turn! Like, in the second game, you have that one archway that has the boss's name and then all the other ones close. All the buttons literally just disappear and are replaced with a boss fight. I love that. By the way, the I teeth. believe I get to show off an Easter egg in this, so... That's good. Okay. Do you also, like my toga uh, party crash? With... Yeah, so he suddenly Cortex and a bunch of motherfuckers in the audience. Don't, <laughs> Don't. yeah. Point. They really love. They really love playing up the scenery. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we got Tiny Tiger. Um, honestly, I will argue he's a little. He's a little easier in this game than he was in the in the original. Though that being said, he has brought in some help. Yeah. But anyway, watch this. Oh wait, I don't think I do it. Oh, I can do it. But but there used to be an exploit where if you stand at the top left hand corner, none of the tigers. I thought it was catch. bomb right. Yeah. yeah. You in do that. You, game, that being said, th that being said, for the remake, they do. They actually did fix that exploit. And they catch you, you, you. They will catch you now. Though they added in a little little extra. What's that? Because if if you stand in that corner, they will catch you. Or sometimes. I ha did have some times where they didn't. But they might catch you. But the best part, the audience throws cheese at you. Yep, because you're literally cheesing the boss fight. Can't or you can't do it. Nice. Also, I didn't know... Also, I didn't know that you could also uh, attack the lions. I thought you should have to dodge all of them. I was like, really? I, yeah, would yeah. I would argue... Oh, I, would I love argue this. Do you can bounce on the boss. Do and do kick him do around. Do I need no appreciate and, that. Oh, and Cortex is even upset. He's yelling. Oh, yeah. And boom. boom. One more for good measure. Was that really necessary? Yeah. He died. I'm already oh, tiny already being pelted by, 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 to, by fruit to juice. Time yeah. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. Yeah, we don't have to. We're in the future. To the second time travel. Yeah, in the Fuck in the future in the future in the future where you can literally save your game without needing to go up and go like in front of the screen. Yeah, yeah. So that was Crash Bandicoot Part Three: one. Warped. My personal favorite game, and we will see you in the next episode where I show how even more horrible I am. Yay! Now, all right, take care, everybody. Yeah, see you all. See you all later for part two of Coco Bandicoot. Yeah, one more good. One more good measure against Logan. Whoa!